サラです今年もやってきてます世界最大の音楽機材祭ザ・ナムショー2023です今年私が注目したい会社第3弾はですね発足以来アメリカでも結構人気が出てきているこちらのオーストリアンオーディオになりますオーディオ機器の巨匠といえば1940年から続く歴史を持ったオーストリアの AKG という会社なんですけれどももちろんエンジニアの方やシンガーさんの方皆さんご存知だと思いますこの AKG はですねハンバーグというのが経営してたんですけどなんと2017年にサムソンに買収されちゃったんですよでね買収された時になんとその AKG 工場がオーストリアにあったわけなんですけどそれ全部閉鎖されてそこで働いていた人も解雇されてしまったんですよこの工場閉鎖の際にですねやはり社員の方たち何名かが立ち上がってせっかくこんなに長い年数続いてきたこうオーストリアのオーディオ機材を作る技術を自分たちだけで次の世代に渡していこうということで AKG の副社長とそれについてきたこう社員の人たちが一丸となって立ち上げた会社がこちらのオーストリアンオーディオになるわけですなのでね新しい会社と思われがちなんですけど実は社員の方たちはもうすごい長いオーディオ機器を作ってきたバックグラウンドがあるんですねでさオーストリアの工場が閉まったねその当日に会社を起こしたらしいんですよこのストーリーめちゃめちゃドラマチックで泣けるなーと思って聞いてていろんな思いがあって長く続けてきた AKG を去って自分たちの会社を立ち上げたんだなーと私はもうそんな熱い会社ぜひ応援したいと思いまして今回は密着取材をさせていただこうとでね、えっと、オーストリアンオーディオの方たちは AKG のバックグラウンドがあるんですけれども別にその AKG の商品を引き継いで作ろうっていうわけではなくて自分たちで新しいものを作っていこうそのオーストリアで生まれた音楽機材の技術を次の世代に渡していこう伝承していきたいという思いでもう全然新しいものもバンバン出てます他の会社にはね実現できていない Bluetooth 技術を使用したマイクだったりとか録音した後にコストプロダクションとしていろいろ音質を変えられるっていうソフトウェアだったりとかかなり面白い AKG とは全く関係ない超最新のものをどんどん出してるんですよねまあでもねいろいろな苦労があったと思います結局はなんかあ AKG の派生でしょみたいな感じで言われてしまったりとかそういうイメージをねぜひ皆さんに払拭してほしいと思いましてまあ説明はしたんですけど全然関係ないよということでただ歴史はある会社だということを理解してほしい感じですねなんかねこういう機材の動画ってさ機材だけを取り上げること多いじゃないですかでもね私はその会社の歴史とかどういういきさつでこういう商品を作ることになったとかそういうこういう会社を立ち上げることになったっていうとこまで知ってほしいんですよ皆さんの知らないぐらいドロドロのドラマがあるんですよもう半沢直樹がっていうぐらいこのヒューマンドラマがあるんですよねオーディオ機器の会社にもやはりそういった面を知った上で機材を改めて見るとちょっとこう聞き方とか見方が変わってくるんじゃないかなと思いますということでですねオーストリアンオーディオから、えー、今日カートさんに会社発足のね詳細だったりその当時の従業員の方たちはどういうことを感じたとかでなおかつ今言いましたすごいテクノロジー総裁の彼らの商品なども紹介していきたいと思いますこのオーディオ機器の会社を始めたのは。And what's your background? Austrian Audio is known to have a great heritage in building microphones and headphones. So there was the company AKG that you maybe know. And AKG was based in Austria, it had his headquarters there. It got shut down by in 2017. So all the engineers and the scientists, all the managers were on the street. And our boss, Martin Seidel, he decided, okay, guys, before our knowledge spreads up, we make our own company and we try to do it ourselves. And he founded Austrian Audio. And so that's kind of the heritage of AKG lives in Austrian Audio now. 
I see all like the, the drama, <laughs> like because I was reading the article, how did you guys start it? So when AKG, original factory was closed, were there a lot of workers laid off? Can I mention that? <laughs> like All of them were, were laid off. Well, everybody lost a job. The whole headquarter was just closed. We are Austrian audio now, so we, we don't want to talk about AKG all the time. Yeah. I was an audio engineer at this time. I haven't been with AKG. The company was founded in the 40s and then it just gets closed uh, from one day to the other. That's a drama, of course. But now we have Austrian audio and, and maybe it was a good thing because now we can, we can go on, you know? If you're a part of a big company like AKG was, there is a lot of financial control going on and stuff like that. You can't go after some visions that are really worth going after them. Yeah. So now we can. The saddest part was because to produce the AKG in China, like that was the reason why you guys wanted to keep the production in Austria? It's not only about producing, I mean of course that's a big part, but the main thing I think is about innovation. All the guys that made those products, they are still in Austria. That was the pity that this innovative team kind of got spread up. That's why Austrian Audio was founded. So all this knowledge stays in Austria. How many people were there when you guys started, the original member of Austrian Audio? It was 25, something around that. Now we are 55. So you said it, heritage. I understand, but I feel like the product of Austrian Audio is more like super new technology and it's fitting to the new recording style. You know, what, what's your target? The pro audio industry is, is kind of a conservative industry. We see many other companies doing reissues of microphones that were constructed 50, 40 years ago or even longer. That's not our way. We want to take further steps. We want to do new stuff. Stuff. We want to take the next step. We have really good roots and a good basic. But it's always interesting to think about new workflows, to think about new materials that could be used for the products. That's what we are after. Sorry, like weird question, but <laughs> maybe you guys are stressing out hearing AKG names all the time when you talk about your company. I mean, yeah, the question comes all the time, but it's sometimes good to, to say that because people should know what happened and they should know where we come from, that we are not just a bunch of people that start something from scratch. No, there is a lot of heritage and a lot of knowledge in our company. And why not tell the story? Well, we are all in, in the company, all the employees, we really all, we share the passion about the products that we do. Most of the people are musicians themselves. Capturing sound or mixing and, and, and recording, it's kind of an art, an, a handcraft art, and you need passion to do that. You guys had a passion to keep the culture of Austria, right? <laughs> That's the part I wanted to tell everybody. Yeah. Now let's talk about the best-selling microphone, OC818. This microphone is not the regular microphone. It has a really new technology feature. Tell me what kind of microphone this is. It's a large condenser microphone, a switchable large condenser microphone, so with different polar patterns. And the special thing about it is that we invented something where you can remote control the microphone. This is one special feature, and the other special feature is you can record both sides of the capsule, front and back side, and you can control the polar pattern in post-production, in the mix down, and you can even do it frequency independently. That means you can say, I want a hypercardioid, as an example, in the low range, and I want a figure of eight in the mid range, and I want an omni for the travel. For example, when I'm recording as a cardio, it, it still captures the whole thing as an omni, so I can modify it, let's say, if I do cardioid for the recording, but for the post-production, I could change it to figure eight, right? How does it, how does it work? <laughs> okay, we, we have to get a little bit into physics, okay. okay? So what we do is we record cardioid on one side and the cardioid on the other side. So if we mix this up, so it's two signals, right? We, if we mix it up to one signal and we do it one-to-one -one in phase, we will get an omni. If we do it one-to-one, -one, that one side out of phase, we will get a figure of eight. That's just how, how it works. And if you change the balance between front and, and back, you will get everything in between, like a white cardioid or a hypercardioid. This is usually done by using the switches on the microphone, right? 
But we said, okay, why not just do it later? And that's what we do with our plugin, the Polar Design. You're not limited to the five or four or whatever polar patterns that uh, you used to know. You can choose everything in between. So you said two cables I have to connect, you different have, connector. Exactly. If you want to do the change afterwards, if you want to work with the plugin, you have to record both sides, front and back side of the capsule on separate tracks. And does it come with that two cable thing? Of course it does. You can add the second cable here in the back side. The back connector, like a regular XLR? A small 5-pin XLR. It's in the box, of course. Okay, now I'm going to give you a quick run through to the plugins that we have from Austrian Audio, which are, by the way, free of charge download on our website. And you can use them together with our OC818, the duo output of the OC818. It's two signals, right? It's a snare recording. The upper side is the front side of the microphone, that's why you have a, a higher level, right? You have to set the gain level for the front side of the microphone. You have 23 dB of gain. Then you have to set the back side of the microphone to 23 dB gain as well. It needs to be the same gain setting to front and back side, okay? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, you can decide which polar pattern you want to have in the different frequency ranges and you can change this flawless. So now, it, I'm just changing the polar pattern of the low frequencies. I can change this crossover frequencies. You can change the bands, okay. so now you have only three. Okay. You will see the polar designer is a stereo to mono plugin. You do the final polar pattern and in the end it's a mono signal again. We have another very interesting thing, which is the stereo creator. So if you have two OC818s, now you have to record four channels, like you see it here. One, two, three, four. Then you route those four channels into a quad bus. You need a quad bus, okay? Stereo creator, quad to stereo, okay? You have to follow up this routing here. And now I can decide in mix down which stereo technique I want to use. So I can switch in between MS, mid-side stereo technique, XY stereo technique, or bloom line. And I can do this in post-production. You can do crazy stuff like in XY, you can change the opening angle of the microphone setup. Rotate bloom line. Okay? <laughs> and you can do all of this in post-production. Austrian Audio no stereo creator という速度を今視聴させてもらえるらしいです。ハートが操作しながらなんで聞いていきましょう。I hear you. Yes. すごい。私思ったのが別にこの音って再現できるじゃないですか他のプラグインでもそれこそちょっと言ったら怒られちゃうけどこの人たちの前でウェーブスとかさステレオ系のデザインするプラグインなんか山ほどあるじゃないですかでもなんかこれは超微調整まで向いてる超微調整ができると思うそう思いませんでしたあのメーター見てるここのメーターの音とこっちに行った時のメーターとこっちに行った時のメーターの音は他のプラグインで再現可能だと思うんだけどその間細かいこことこことここの間の音みたいなのはこれでしかできないけどかりますいつもはそのマイクを何本か立ててそれをそれぞれ EQ してブレンドしてでバランスを取りながら結構じっくり作っていくのが簡単にできるって感じですねだから本当にそういう微調整が大事な音源取る時ですよねオーケストラだけ系の生楽器録音に向いてるっていうかストリングスだったりブラスだったりマイクの位相とかを気にせずできるんじゃないかな確かにそう思いますしかもなんか本当サクってできるから時間が無駄にならないし他の楽器と混ぜながら微調整してくのがすごい多分、うんうんうん、そう思ういいねこれどう思いますかアニメえっとなんか難しいことはわかんないですけどなんか右から多めに聞こえるようになんか確かに向きが回ってるのを表現してるなとか広がって横が多めに聞こえたりすることとか全体が聞こえたりっていうのが結構こんな簡単なことできるのかもしれないですねちょっとずついじってく感じがすごいいいよねやりたくなるわかるもっとそのちょっとずつうんそうそうそうそう
you have a Bluetooth dongle available as an optional accessory, and you plug it inside on the on the back side here. You can connect with an iPad, iPhone, Android phone, whatever, to this Bluetooth dongle, and I can change the polar pattern, and I can set the pad switch here, and I can set low cuts from my phone. So that means I can sit in the sweet spot of my of my studio, and I can find the perfect polar pattern for the recording that I'm doing right now. This stays as a preset inside the microphone. So if you take the dongle off, you use the microphone on another polar pattern or you disconnect it totally, no problem. If you put it back to this, it will always come up with the setting that you have done the last time on the app. So you're gonna save the as a preset inside of the software? You can save presets in here, but the last setting you've done will be always saved in the microphone. That's impressive, <laughs> I'm surprised. Open acoustic is maybe another topic. Open acoustic? Yeah. Open acoustic is something that is almost in all of our microphones, that's why they called OC. It's an acoustic design to place the capsule as much as possible in the free field. So to get rid of anything that could create resonance inside the microphone. That's a problem with many microphones. Resonances, you don't see them on a frequency response curve because the microphone is measured with, it with a sweep. So it goes from down, okay? And then you see what the microphone delivers. But the problem is a resonance always needs a longer sound to even to come up. So you can hear it when you use it on your instrument, but you can't hear it or see in your measurement. Our microphones almost have no resonances because of the design of the acoustic design. Because sound can come from everywhere without being blocked and without creating reflections, you know, it, around the caps. So because of this feature that you can change all the polar patterns, do you think this microphone fits everywhere and anything? Or is there any particular applying situation that works best? So honestly, it fits everywhere. It's a very, very versatile microphone because it sounds so natural. You can use it everywhere. It will fit everywhere. It will just pick up the sound of the instrument without adding any coloration. So you can use it for strings, upright, grand piano, doesn't matter, acoustic guitars, vocals, drum overheads, great drum overheads. This sound is designed for the engineers to tweak on their own later. That's why you focused on really no color flat microphone. That is a really good point. We, we want you to take the decisions where you want to go and if you want to add saturation or any kind of processing. There are all kind of plugins and, and possibilities in the world. We want to deliver a great basis for you to get creative with it. And if you say, no, I just want the, the most natural sound, just leave it like it is. Hello to all the pro audio uh, passionates in Japan. I really hope you could enjoy this interview and, and I really hope you, you look after our products because it's really worth it. You will get um, natural sounding devices that really help you to get the best out of your music or whatever content you could use. Um, check it out, you will be satisfied, I promise.